Hello and welcome back to a new episode of the Conversion of Lifeboat Hooger. Um, I'm on top of the roof as you can probably tell. I'm going to be doing some GRP work. I've done a lot of work on the cockpit and I'm hoping you'll subscribe and like this video. Enjoy! Like I said, I'm on top of the roof. I've set myself up to do some GRP work. I've got the polyester resin, the hardener, a brush, a cloth, the chop strand mat. And what I've also got is where used to be the hatch for the wheelhouse. There's um, a big hole. Well, there would have been if I didn't put the tape on it. I'm going to seal that today as they say there's going to be rain on Sunday so I'll better get it waterproof. Right I'm at the point where I'm ready to wet out the first bit of chop strand mat. As you can see that I've ripped the bits up. The reason for that is that the loose strands will hook into each other and make it more solid than having it cut with um, a pair of scissors. Um, I'm sorry to say that I can't actually film this um, while I'm doing it because I'm on my own and I'm on top of the roof so there's nothing to, nowhere to put the camera really. So this is the polyester resin. It's um, a bluish colour. I think it comes into a kind of brown as well. And I've been told that the blue one is the better quality but it's always a guess what you're going to get if you order it online. Um, it uses a hardener, a chemical hardener, styrene, and it, you need about 1 or 2 percent. Luckily it's not as particular as um, epoxy where it has to be a 1 in 4 to make it go off properly and to give it its proper qualities by the time it's hardened. Um, yeah, polyester is a lot easier, which is um, handy because it's uh, quick and easy and kind of foolproof. Hello! After months and months and months and months of having had a cover on the cockpit, the weather is finally nice enough and good enough and steady enough to have taken that off. I've done a load of sanding yesterday um, and hopefully, I'm hoping to get a coat of primer on today and then it'll be near enough ready for a top coat. I'm very chuffed with how it looks to be honest um, I mean it's just amazing the space and how it opens the boat up if I open the doors just step inside if you see how big oh the cat's there if you see how big the cockpit is that will be a lovely addition to outside space Cat loves the boat, which is good. So yes, I'm going to crack on today. Another look at the cockpit. Um, it's had a first coat of white primer. Still a little bit of filling and fairing going on. You think you've got it spot on and then when you paint it, you find other bits that need doing. Um, so I'm doing that this morning but um, and then hopefully another coat of primer this evening but we'll see how we go it's um, too warm during today during the day although there's a nice breeze you're completely out of the wind in the cockpit which is lovely if you're living on it but not so much to do the painting so we'll see how we go I haven't done the seats or the floors you can see because otherwise there's no way in or out of it but um, yeah it's getting there 
Right, back for another look at the cockpit. It's, um, most of it or all of it has had a co two coats of white primer. Um, had to be doing a bit of residual filling of fairing. But um, it's looking good. It's just drying at the moment. Like I said, I haven't done the floor and the seat yet, but that will be done later. Another job that needed doing was take the windows out of the wheelhouse. Um, you can see from this video, it looks completely wrong being able to use a chisel and a claw hammer to take the windows out. But it seems to be the only way um, when building the boats. They used silicone mastic and it sticks like nobody's business. The glass is toughened, so I'm not worried about breaking that. I had to break the front two windows just to get to some nuts and bolts that wouldn't loosen. And as I can't be on the inside and the outside at the same time, I had to break the windows and it took some doing. So um, it's good to have them out. The new windows I've got already sorted but putting them in will probably take a bit more time. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.